What's up, gang? It's Deltia from DeltiasGaming.com here with a video on Advanced User Interface, the new awesome add-on you've been seeing on the stream and in my videos. This video, I'm going to show you how to take your normal default UI that looks like this and turn it into the new badass user interface, this, for Elder Scrolls Online 2.0 and beyond. Let's get started and show you how I set up AUI for me and what you can do for your user interface in Elder Scrolls Online. I gotta give my nugget a shout out, Maxim Overdrive, who told me about this add-on a few weeks ago and now I'm starting to use it and I feel comfortable with creating a video. First thing you need to do is basically find the add-on on ESOUI.com. It's AUI, Advanced User Interface. Currently in beta, but it works with ESO 2.07, currently what I'm using right now. So you go here and then you have to install it. There's a couple ways to do it. I think the easiest is using the Minion client, which is this screen right here. So if you're a Minion user, it's a program you can find um, on Minion, and then you go to find more, type in AUI, hit the install button, and that's simply all you have to do. Then you go into the game, hit reload UI or a fresh start, and this is what you see. All right, so we're in game here. I want to talk about all the cool options you can do and show you what AUI has to offer. Hit the escape key first and go to settings. In the settings, you go to add-on settings, ironically, and it's at the top, AUI, action bars, attributes, combat, main settings, mini-map. So the mini-map over here, if you hit the preview key, is actually very, very helpful. I didn't even use a mini-map up until now because most of them were buggy, didn't work in Cyrodiil, but this thing is awesome, it works doesn't lock up, doesn't screw up, and it prevents me from going to my map every three seconds to know where I'm at. So I left all the settings here the same, and I turned the preview off, and that always is on. It has, look at this customization of this add-on, it's fantastic. You can change almost every little variable that you want. Action bars, this is the meat and potatoes of the add-on. The cool thing about this is it adds a second bar here on the left, so it gives you health potions, all that sort of thing, and then you have your normal skill bar on the right. Why is this useful? Well, if you go into controls, keybinds, you can actually quickly access by setting up action bars for your quick slots. So for instance, I go in here, inventory, items, quick slots. I arrange the stuff the way I want it, and then I set a certain keybind so I can click on different potions and stuff. Look at my Q key. See how it's moving? So if I wanted to take a drink and didn't want to go to my inventory, I wanted to lay some siege down, I wanted to take a potion, I wanted, to, there's just various different things. So it makes it super handy, especially if you're using two to three different types of potions like I do, um, in between different fights and for different situations. That's the benefit of AUI, is the double bar thing. Also, there's a couple other cool things to do. I leave the attributes the same uh, for myself. So these attributes that I use is Wicked's Enhanced HUD. I like the three bar stacking for Wicked's because I'm used to seeing it and using it. So Wicked's Enhanced HUD is where I get this, these three bars right here. You can actually do the exact same thing with AUI, I just choose not to. This little tool here is also an AUI tool, it's a damage meter. I currently use FTC, Foundry Tactical Comment for this. The reason I use FTCs is, is it just gives different readings and it, like FTC is pretty much the standard right now for testing your DPS, though AUI see overtaking that in the future. But that's what this little measurement is. So this is AUI, this mini map is AUI, the attributes right here are Wicked's Enhanced HUDs, and my notifications are Cloud Combat. So Cloud Combat, what does this do? Let's go show you a fight. See that restored 183 stamina? That's Cloud Combat. It's my notification system. So it notifies me if I need to execute, I need to use a potion, I need to, my ultimate's up, anything like that. Cloud Combat sets that. So let me show you this. Little mud crab here. Enter Combat on the right, that's Cloud Combat. The damage on the left and the right is a Foundry Tactical Combat. Execute now. So they get below that, has a big old pop-up. Watch potions. If I use a potion, it's gonna tell me when a potion's up. I'll, even my ultimate, if it's up. It's gonna tell me all that useful information. So AUI is for basically my bars and my quick slots, advanced user interface, combat, I really don't mess with too much. Like I said, I take that off. Foundry Tactical Combat, I turn their frames off 
and I do display long buffs to keep a, you know, basically an eye on my food. And then I do use their damage tracker setting at 15 seconds. Cloud combat is also my notifications. So the notifications I turn off are, are turn on cleanse. So if I'm fi taking fire damage, poison, something like that, and execute. You can also set the health threshold that the execute pops up. Why is that useful? Because you know some basically, if you're a night blade, you can execute at 25% with your your skill. Uh, mages or sorks can only do it at 20, depending on their specific skill line. So you can turn that on and off. I'm a dragon knight. I don't have an execute by default. Can't turn that off. Alliance skill points. So this is the combination of stuff that I use and even potions. You can make a sound, everything. That's what I use to enhance my gameplay and my performance in game. It's not just, you know, rolling around clicking buttons. It's it's combining user interface, your mouse, your your key binds, everything to make it easy for you to function in combat. And so that's why I recommend AUI, Cloud Combat, FTC, and this is how you get the user interface that I've been using and streaming in-game. Thank you so much for watching. More videos to come.